Hi guys, I'm Alex and today I want to talk to you about what I have found in Mexico because it's very interesting, I think, from a maker's point of view uh, to see very natural stuff that, you, that can be used to, to make something. So, for example, I will talk about this material that I found on Palma and that you can find everywhere here in Mexico. And that is actually like a sort of fabric. I think you can uh, sew it very easily. And it's, it's really stretched a lot. It's very rough. I think probably you can make bags or stuff like this. Unfortunately, I didn't have time. And also I cannot bring this back to Italy because I'm passing through the USA and it's a mess if you want to bring stuff back home. But it's very like, you can also do probably, I don't know, a kind of uh, something to protect your hands. So I don't know, gloves or like, I don't know, maybe also sweater or a t-shirt or something like. I don't know in long terms how it's um, going to work, but it's it's really an awesome material and it's also very, very rough. It's also very, very strong. So I would like to talk also about these little canoas that I found here. I don't know where they camps. I saw the tree, but I don't know which kind of tree it is. There is a sort of legume inside. I mean, they're very, very nice. When there is a lot of humidity, they close a little bit, but you can put them in the sea, in the, in the swimming pool. I think that kids will have a lot of fun with them and probably they, it, they actually use them to play. This also came from Palma. They're like the very big leaves and it's very nice because it's wood, but it seems like cardboard and you can cut it very easily with a scissor. You can, uh, you can use it totally as cardboard. It's also very strong in a way but it's very easy to work with, exactly like cardboard. Then there are the seeds of mamey, that is a very weird fruit. It was the first time that I ate it. Very, very big, very interesting. I'm curious to know if it's possible to carve it or maybe just to use it as something uh, to decorate the house. I don't know, like if you put a tail, you can create like a little mouse uh, made with a seed. It's, I think it's very, very interesting. It's also very big. Then I would like to talk to you about these uh, sticks that are very elastic and I think they came from the gum tree. There are these trees that with very, very long sticks that goes to the ground. They're very similar to roots in a way. It's, it's crazy because, because you can use them like as a rope. And uh, I also tried to use them to, to sew and they work really well. So I took like a, a piece of palma, the one that looks like that is very similar to cardboard. And I did some holes with a screwdriver and I used this one to sew. And it's, it's a very simple and small pocket. I was using it to carry money. Another so another thing that I built in these days while I was here is this very small pipe. Uh, I did it as a joke, but it was very interesting because uh, I used palma, these palma leaves that are the one very similar to cardboard and, and just the gum, uh, gum tree sticks. And I mean, it's, I think it's very nice. It's very simple. It's ecologic. You can like build it with it's crazy how sometimes we just buy things that came from the other side of the world. Like I'm thinking about a pipe that came from China or maybe also came from here from Mexico. But you are like, it's very different when you build something by yourself. And, and yeah, it's, I, I repeat, I'm really surprised by the richness of the nature here and by all the, all the things that you can easily find like on the street and uh, you can make them you can make very nice things well i hate saying these things but 
I know that if I'm not asking you to subscribe to my channel or to click like, you're not going to do it. So if you can, please do it. Unfortunately or luckily, I have to go back home. And this is everything for this video. I hope to see you soon in another video. Bye and thank you.